Hello Ratbags, it's Jade with another Immortals Phoenix Rising Guide. Today I'm going to take you through the rest of the Pegasus horses and unicorns that you can get and pretty much a few other more common creatures if you just like for some reason riding around on boring horses or deer. These are definitely worth getting some of the level 3 mounts. If you don't know, you can obviously get mounts in the game and it does mean you've got a lot more stamina so basically you can get across the map a lot quicker with level 3 creatures which tend to be Pegasus and the Unicorns. I do believe later on in the game we're going to come across things like bears as well but for now these are some of the best mounts you can get in the game. So you can see I'm just dealing with some enemies there as this is going to be the location I want to show you. It's in Grover Cleos so you won't be getting here for a while maybe unless you go all the way to this location just to get this golden pegasus. It won't be that easy, you can see there's quite a few high level creatures down here but you should be able to maybe just about do it if you keep your distance or if you've got plenty of health chunks. You'll find him right at the bottom of this hill where you can see the causeway going over to that area there, the snow peak area where it's broken up. As usual, all you need to do is crouch and go close to it. If it stops and a little exclamation mark comes above its head, then you make sure you just stop and just wait for it to disappear, and then you should be able to get close enough to go ahead and tame it. I ain't gonna lie, I was a bit disappointed this guy doesn't fly. I hope that maybe they add something like that. Maybe when you complete the game, you can have mounts that actually do something like that. That'd be really cool. And you can see how much Stanley's got. Absolute bucket loads compared to the normal ones, normal horses and deer that you find. Next up, you'll be returning to the Clashing Rocks. Now, this area we're going to be going has got some chests on it. And it's definitely going to be a bit of a challenge if you're quite low level. Even just getting to it, it's pretty hard as it's crossed the water. Unless you go all around the series of islands, which are worth doing as you can get some decent armor sets if you want to do that. I'd already done it and I didn't realize that this creature was here until later. So then I went back and I found this spot where I could maybe glide most of the way across. What you're looking for is that particular spot right here. And this is more the traditional Pegasus that you might recognize. Pretty much a white one. Even with the amount of stamina chunks I have, I did have to use a potion to get across because it just simply wasn't good enough. And I do have the ability where you can dash in the water a little bit too. Top tip, never jump in water. It takes up a whole of your chunk, so it's definitely not worth doing. Just make sure you press the dash button instead. Go around the cliff or the rocks and you will see him. He's just hiding on the edge here. He seemed pretty easy to tame. He didn't really have the exclamation mark pop up like some of the others. So I guess I managed to be a bit more sneaky this time. And his name is Lorian. A little bit closer in the Valley of Eternal Spring, right in the southern part here, you can see that little island surrounded by some of the smaller little land pieces. You will find this purple unicorn. This one's pretty easy. You should be able to find it relatively without trouble. And there's no enemies around, so it wouldn't be too hard to go and grab it. FYI, his name is Tyrion. And I've shown this one off already, but I figure as it's part of this little set in these opening areas, I'll show you again. This is Iridica, I do believe. Again, found just at the northern point of the uh, Valley of the Hidden Springs, or the Valley Eternal Springs. I keep forgetting the name of that one. And it's pretty much Gaia's soul. Here you'll find it just flopping about in these little swampland areas. Here it is on the map, just in case you are still a little bit not at that stage where you've explored some of these places yet. You're going to find lots of other creatures that you could go ahead and tame. Some of them look nice, but they really aren't that useful as their stamina is so bad. Like this one here, it's just another elk or another deer, like the first one you find pretty much in the beginning stages. But if you really just prefer to look at the normal creatures, then you can go to the Lyre here in the Valley of the Eternal Springs and you'll find another chestnut brown horse very close by. It does also look like there's two variants of each one of these. So you'll find two horses, two deer, two pegasus and two unicorns. As far as I've explored and I've checked out some other stuff on the first two or three areas. I will give you an updated guide once I find the bears and I've explored more of the regions, but I thought I'd show you these right now. So if you like that, if it's helped, make sure you leave a like, go and check out the rest of my Immortals Phoenix Rising guides, and I'll see you right bags later.